All right, working on our 2008 Ford Taurus wagon here. And um, to get to the instrument cluster, like if you've got, um, we noticed a couple of the bulbs were out. Um, we already replaced the speedometer bulb because it was out. But the two little bulbs at the fuel gauge and the water temp gauge are out also. So, not that big a deal to get to. Uh, you'll just need your little 7 millimeter socket to get these two little screws out here. And then just be careful, you know, while you're pulling all this out, you don't want to break or crack anything. So, you just have to be kind of firm and uh, tilt your steering wheel all the way down. Make sure it's out of the way, and you may have to move your turn signal arm out of the way also. But um, this piece right here comes out first. Then there'll be a few more screws on the speedometer or the cl instrument cluster itself. And then it all just lifts right out, and the plug is on the top of it there. Not that big a deal. So I will do the next step here and get this piece out of here. So I'll be right back. The easiest way to get this piece out is just to come up to the top of it here and just pull down and you'll see there's a few tabs like this little guy right here and then just you know just wiggle it out of there not not a big deal at all make sure this little rubber piece is in place also that's just so you know to make it look pretty basically and then Get your sockets again, and you'll see screws here, here, up top also, on the top of both sides. So we'll do that next. Okay, it's just the uh, little quarter inch drive here with a seven millimeter socket and a, you know, a short extension to get those four screws out you know, on all the corners, top, bottom, left, right, and then just give it a little tug see it comes right out and there's the connector right up there push down on this little middle piece right here if it'll focus yeah you just push down with that center piece right there and then the trigger you may have to use a small screwdriver or something you can usually get it with your finger though push down on that and then this little comes off and now it's disconnected and then there's a little tab right there. Just pull that out of place also. You know, just wiggle it out. Be careful not to break anything, you know, because this stuff is just plastic. And if it's an older car, it's easy to break that stuff. Okay. And then just, you know, just wiggle it. It's a little awkward, you know, because the steering wheel, I, I pull it off to the right like this in the same way to put it back in, you know. You just have to kind of wiggle on it a little bit because there's not much room, but uh, it'll fit in there. Now, all these little guys right here are the light bulbs in the back of the cluster. And they are tiny little suckers too. I have never seen anything like this. These guys are so itty bitty. However, they are at your local auto parts store. I did find some. If it'll focus. I mean, they are teensy little things so uh you know make sure that you get the right size and wattage i think they're only like 1.4 watts you know they are itty bitty just notice how they they just twist in place so make sure you put them in the same way they came out but yeah all these are light bulbs on the back of your cluster okay and if you're having issues with some of your lights being out on your cluster, that's how you get to them. But you should be able to get these bulbs any major auto parts store. You know, just make sure you screw them back in. Play, they just pop out of these little sockets. You just pull, pull the bulb out of that socket there. Push the new one in and then put it back in. Make sure it's in properly. It'll kind of click into place when it's in properly. And then reverse what you did and test your, you know, test your switch and make sure everything's working again. There you have it. We'll be doing a lot more work on this car, 2008 and 2009 Ford Taurus X. Check us out. We'll see y'all later.